We found a handful of documents were failed, uh, were filed in the wrong place. We immediately turned them over to the archives of the Justice Department. We're fully cooperating, looking forward to getting this resolved quickly. I think you're going to find there's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. It's exactly what we're doing. There's no there there. No there there. President Biden says he has no regrets on how he handled classified documents, but the majority of Americans found his actions inappropriate, according to a brand new Quinnipiac poll. Here with reaction is former DHS acting uh, Deputy Secretary Ken Cuccinelli, who himself has handled, when he was working during the Trump administration, yeah. he has handled top secret classified stuff. Ken, uh, you got the vice pre the president there talking about these documents from when he was vice president, yeah. and essentially he's blaming a clerical error. They got filed in the wrong place. Yeah. This is not a clerical error. Well, it, it is not a clerical error, and, and a top secret document, for instance, has its own cover and backing. I mean, if you pick it up, you wouldn't, if, if you were putting it in a file, you'd see the top secret covering. That's what the covering is for. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's pretty screamingly obvious. Uh, and the no regrets, I mean, it reminds me of the tattoo commercial, no regrets. I mean, this this is this this explanation is silly, given how these documents are handled literally day to day, every single one separately and is taken care of on its own. So this isn't a casual thing in the White House any more than it is out at the departments like Homeland Security, where I was. Right. Uh, I mentioned the poll. Uh, we've got a Quinnipiac poll. Yeah. 60 percent of Americans feel it was inappropriate. Uh, yeah, 60 percent appropriate, 22 percent. I don't know who yeah. those people are. But ultimately, uh, right. when, when you think <laughs> about the time frame when this was happening, Ken, they figured out, hey, look, we've got these secret documents in a closet at the Penn Biden Center in the shadow of the Capitol. We shouldn't have them. They figured yeah. it out six days before the midterms. Can you imagine had that hit the fan six days before the midterms? Yeah, and they could, too, which is why they didn't tell us. Right. So, I mean, it's really that straightforward. And the, the, the transparency they talk about is truly farcical. Um, I mean, this wasn't just... Oh, well, we missed the election by a day or two. We found out two months later. So this is part of a at least a timed cover up. And it is obviously extremely important. The, the polling results are very basic. 60 to 20 Americans think this is very important. Yeah. Uh, I certainly think it was very important. I was trained to think it was very important, as was the vice president. He got the same briefings. He sure. knows how important this was. Now, but of course, this is the same person who spilled out S SEAL Team 6 on the Osama bin Laden raid. Right. I mean, this is, a, this is a guy who's been pretty loose-lipped himself in other areas. This yeah. is not a one-off for for Joe Biden. Indeed. And, and real quickly, our vice, you mentioned vice president, uh, our current vice president was in Arizona yesterday, uh, did not look at the border. She said to a reporter, you know, I've no, been there before. Not. I'll go again, even though she's in charge of root causes. Uh, but then again, the way this white handle handles border visits, Joe Biden was at the border 10 days ago and they hid all the migrants from him. Thousands come yes. into the country every day. There was not one at that processing center. What a crazy coincidence, right? What a crazy! Yeah, the day, the pictures, the day before and the day of were uh, were were quite a quite a showed a lot of effort by El Paso and a lot of others to clear out an awful lot of migrants. Yep. And and uh, you know all they do is hide the border. They don't deal with the border. Well, luckily, uh, you know, we've got some great reporters on the border showing us exactly what's happening. Ken yes. Cuccinelli, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great weekend, sir.